Eradicating polio is actually uh, a goal of Rotary International and we've been working at it since 1985. And at the moment we're not just this close, we're so close to achieving our number one goal of a polio-free world. Our campaign to rid the world of polio has been something that Rotarians are determined um, to do and dedicated in, in that goal. I went with Connie um, out there and I think Connie, if you, Connie is now one of our Purple for Polio ambassadors. That's a campaign we launched this Rotary year. If you get something like polio, it, it, it's, it's a double whammy. Not only is your lifestyle compromised, you're compromising essentially the family unit, that's how it's seen. And it sounds ruthless, but when you're living in such poverty, yeah. it provides the conditions in which a disease like polio can spread so, so quickly. So as Eve said, I'm Gotam, and I was born in Calcutta, otherwise known as the City of Joy, at a time and a place when one in five children were dying of the virus. I have survived polio and I was fortunate because of disability, poverty and then geography that was what led me to meet Mother Teresa because as Connie said when disability becomes a burden to a family for various reasons um, children are either thrown away or left somewhere. If the rest of the world had adopted India's gold standard for polio eradication, arguably, we would not be discussing this today. If we don't eradicate it, if we, if we monitor it, another 200,000 people in the next 10 years could be crippled, like me, by the virus. India was the stimulus to really get us almost to the end game. Because, as Gordon said, if India can be clear of polio, anywhere can. You know, if we do say that the world is free of polio in 2019, which is what we hope will happen, and that is, you know, a fairly good pros prospect that that will happen. You still have to keep immunising against polio. So today, we've actually spent 15 billion, but I was just in Sri Lanka at another polio conference. The WHO representative there, Chris Ma, said, we've already saved 50 billion dollars with the children that haven't had the polio and all the other ramifications. Yeah.